Yet another early start for a big day in the mountains, traveling to the back of Lauterbrunnen Valley from Interlaken's east station to the town of Lauterbrunnen and taking Europe's longest cable car ride up to the Schilthorn Mountain. And the journey getting up there is half the fun. There are some beautiful views of the river on that side as you're going up through the narrow entrance to the valley. So that's quite lovely. Weather is always a major factor for determining your schedule in the mountains because you might plan other activities if you see it's a cloudy day, such as taking a side trip over to the city of Bern. This is another good reason for spending a few days in Interlaken to increase the chances of getting this good weather that you want. Fortunately, you can find out what the weather is like at the top of the mountains for with this typical Swiss efficiency, most hotels have televisions that include a weather channel with live reports from the top of the various peaks. And you can always ask the hotel staff otherwise to check the morning weather report. You'll have a choice of two alternative ways to get from the Lauterbrunnen train station further into the valley where you'll catch the cable car to Schiltorn. You can either take the public bus on a scenic 20-minute ride in the valley to Steckelberg, where the cable car begins, or ride the funicular up the hill from the Lauterbrunnen train station to Grutschalp, and you continue from there for another two and a half miles by train. And that will bring you to the village of Murren. This is where you'll get your cable car to the top. And that's the route that we're going to take right now in the program. You can have it both ways by going full circle in a nice round trip. You take the cable car ride up from Lauterbrunnen to Grutschalp, take the rail over and then up to the Schilthorn. And then on your way down, you go all the way down from the Schilthorn via cable cars, as we'll be showing you, to the valley bottom where you catch the public bus and that'll bring you back into Lauterbrunnen where you catch the train back to Interlaken. It's actually all very easy. Everything is nicely coordinated. You'll notice this aerial cable car has spectacular views looking up into Lauterbrunnen Valley framed by the high mountains on both sides. To the left, the Jungfrau, the Munk and the Eiger and in the far distant right, the Schilthorn. The schedules are coordinated so that you get off the cable car and you walk through this small station at Grutschalp and the train is waiting for you right there. You comfortably get on, sit down, and off you go on the next leg of the journey. It's called the Lauterbrunnen Mirren Mountain Railway and it's owned by a larger company, the Jungfrau Bahn Holding Company, which also runs and owns the rail systems on the other side of the valley that go up to Wenger and Alp and up to the Jungfrau. This railway first opened in 1891. Originally the route up the hill was not a aerial cable car, it was a funicular at ground level. The railway is a single track narrow gauge and it's about two and a half miles long from one end to the other from Grutschalp to Murren. And halfway there's another station called Winteregg. And here you could get off and you could walk part of the way, which is a very easy and pleasant walk. If you walk the entire distance from Grutschalp to Murren, it would take you about an hour and a half and it's all quite level. Or you could save that walk for later on your way home after you've conquered the Schilthorn. With our suggested plan, that short train ride brings you to the village of Murren, one of the very few automobile-free towns in Switzerland. So it makes a nice place to walk around, especially with the amazing views that you'll get across the Lauterbrunnen Valley towards the Jungfrau. Murren has several small hotels, which tend to be expensive, and some traditional guest houses where you could stay. However, there is not much to do here except hike, relax, admire the views, and have something to eat. We ran into some young entrepreneurs with their little juice par and selling snacks. Clever little kids. You'll be walking through the village and you'll find that walking is the national passion of the Swiss. You'll see locals of all ages passing you by. 
Notice how many trails lead out from this one spot. Mirin sits at an elevation of nearly 5,500 feet and has a population of just 450, but 2,000 hotel beds available, so it could make a very peaceful place to stay. And while you're here, you could try jumping off a mountain with a parachute, do some paragliding. With an expert, you can fly tandem. You don't have to know anything about it. This fire station is operated by volunteers performing a very important service in this remote wooden village. Before going up the Schiltorn, look for a restaurant in Marin with an outdoor terrace overlooking the view. By now you've worked up an appetite, no doubt. We suggest the outdoor terrace of the Hotel Alpenru. They've got a lovely lunch with a variety of light salads or roasted sausages, mushrooms. You can have ham and bacon and onions with the potatoes and an omelet, big variety. Or you could get a hamburger and french fries. They also rent rooms. It's been renovated recently. They've got Wi-Fi, very comfortable three-star accommodations with this amazing view looking out across the valley to the mountains beyond. It just takes about two minutes to walk from there over to the cable car station to purchase your ticket for the ride up to the Schilthorn Mountain. To maximize chances of clear conditions, they would have been smart to take the first train out of Interlochen at 6.35 in the morning, which enables you to reach the top by 8 a.m. But that means getting up before dawn. Of course, the view from the cable car is magnificent because you're going up to an elevation of nearly 10,000 feet. Now, if you're a short person, you wanna get in there and get a window so that you can see well. If you're taller, any place you stand in the cable car is gonna provide this great 360 degree panoramic view as you go up the mountain. From Murin, you'll be taking two cable cars, about 10 minute journey from Murin to Birg, and there you get off and just follow the crowd and you change cable cars for the final leg up from Birg to the Schiltorn, and that's only about a five minute ride and the scenery gets more and more wonderful as you see those jagged peaks all around you covered in snow. Many people consider the view from the Schiltorn even more spectacular than the view from the Jungfrau. We're at the top of the Schiltorn, which is a fantastic viewpoint for looking at the heart of the Swiss Alps. It's the Bernese Oberland, and you've got the Monk, the Eiger, and the world-famous Jungfrau Mountain right behind me. It's really a glorious view, and it's a 360-degree panorama up here at the Schildhorn. It's a must when you come to Switzerland. The Swiss engineers have done it again with superb facilities at the Observation Center, including a rotating restaurant and escalators to bring you to the different levels, all run by solar power. Have a meal at Peace Gloria or a simple lunch in the self-service cafeteria while soaking in the amazing view. On a clear day like this, you've got the sunny highlights and the dramatic clouds in the background. Beautiful peaks and valleys all covered in snow. A large outdoor terrace provides an excellent vantage to look back across the valley at those three world famous peaks, the Jungfrau, Monk and Eiger whose complete forms can be seen better from this vantage than from close up. And then cap it off with a drink in the Crystal Lounge and imagine watching James Bond in the frantic chase scene from On Her Majesty's Secret Service, filmed here in 1969. There's a convenient diagram, points out how you're surrounded by other peaks that are as much as 4,000 meters high. That's about 13,000 feet. We're up at about 3,000 meters above sea level here at the Schiltorn. That's about 10,000 feet. All year round, they have snow, they have a glacier. You can sit indoors perfectly comfortably and have a meal or just a snack, do a little shopping in the gift shop. They've added a brand new observation deck with glass paneling on the floor and all around to give you the feeling of being suspended in space as shown on the Schilthorn website. They call it the Skyline View Platform and it's included in your admission. The view from the Schilthorn is just as spectacular as the view from the Jungfrau, but different in its own way with that amazing panorama of peaks all around. While the Jungfrau observation deck is 
about 2,000 feet higher and has that endless glacier. Both mountains are covered with snow all year round and give spectacular views of mountains, glaciers, and valleys. After an hour at the top, you've probably seen enough unless you're staying for a meal. So head down in the next cable car back down to Murin. Four different cable car rides are needed to get down from this highest cable run in Europe from an elevation of 9,748 feet on top down to 2,844 feet in the valley bottom. So you'll be changing cable cars three times on your way down. The schedules are synchronized, enabling you to reach the bottom in 30 minutes. You change cable cars at Birg, Murin, and Gimmelwald along the way, gaining different perspectives on the mountains as you travel down. On a sunny summer day, the temperatures hover around freezing, but usually feels very comfortable when you're properly dressed. And you don't even need a heavy jacket on most days in the summertime. It's sunny, it's not very windy, and you'll feel very comfortable. On your way down, you can walk part of the way on a most enjoyable hike. Don't take the cable car from Murin to Gimmelwald, but instead walk it. It's a beautiful half hour downhill stroll and you get some amazing vistas of the valley. You'll see other hikers along the way and the rustic cabins of Gimmelwald. So by all means, consider walking that easy downhill slope from Murin to Gimmelwald and there you can pick up on the cable car once again. In hindsight, at the end of our two week trip through Switzerland, many of our travelers felt that this walk was the nicest of all. Perhaps you'll be interested to stop off for a quick look at the tiny hamlet of Gimmelwald with its few scattered chalets for its 140 residents. There are some guest houses here. There's one little store, there's a little restaurant, but really not much. This is as rural as it gets in backcountry Switzerland. Very cute. Then you can resume your journey on the cable car going down or keep walking. You'll see the animals out in their corrals. There's some sheep, there's some goats. It's really one of the easiest alpine strolls with the mild downhill slope that gently pulls you along, fueled by sights so pretty, it will be an effortless glide. Even if you're not spending the night in Gimmelwald, you could extend your visit if you enjoyed that little hike from Murren, you could continue on an easy hike from Gimmelwald to Chilchbaum that leads you to the end, the backside of the Lauterbrunnen Valley, where the mountains are in your face and the view's superb. One way takes 70 minutes at a leisurely pace and the path does not have any significant uphill stretches. There's a similar short easy hike from Gimmelwald would take you into Sinfinital Valley, a quiet, peaceful place where the only sounds come from the bubbling brook then walk back to Gimmelwald for the cable car trip down. Gimmelwald offers a number of small bed and breakfasts and pensions where you could spend a few nights. And when you're right here at the cable car station, they've got their notices posted up on the bulletin board. So have a look, maybe take a note from some of these images you see on the screen and give them a call. It would not be very expensive and it would be wonderful. There are these lovely hiking trails that go out from here, or it's just a quiet little hamlet to relax in. Uh, you can check it out online, of course, on the internet. The views from the lowest stage of this cable car journey are so fine that they alone would make the day worthwhile. Looking out the length of the Lauterbrunnen Valley and to various waterfalls and that dramatic rock cliff a few feet from the gondola. It helps to get a window position so when you get into the cable car head right to the front or to the side the left side and you'll be in position for getting the best view and the best pictures proceeding down that cable car from Gimmelwald once you have reached the valley bottom there's a very convenient public bus that you can catch from Steckelberg that'll bring you back through Lauterbrunnen Valley to the town of Lauterbrunnen and there you transfer to the train for Interlaken. The bus just takes 20 minutes and it drives you through spectacular green valleys and through the pastures with high vertical walls and a flat valley floor that was carved out by glaciers eons ago, resembling a deep 
U-shaped canyon, all lined in green. Arriving at the Lauterbrunnen Rail Station, you can catch the final leg of your day's adventure, which is another scenic ride back to Interlaken, which only takes about 20 minutes. And by now, your eyeballs are full of scenery from the day's adventures, but be sure to look out the window on this train ride, and you'll enjoy views of the stream and quick views back into the valley. And you'll get home by late afternoon from your big day's adventure, leaving you some time for a walk through town and dinner and some more adventures in the city.